how to download a file using an HTTPS proxy, yes, secure, via environment variable with Ansible, this is a very common enterprise use case, because a system administrator would like to log and in general double check all the type of connection that uh, virtual machine do before connecting to internet and apply some ACL. Anyway, I'm going to show you a live demo with some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome to today's episode of Ansible Pilot. The easiest way to download a file using an HTTPS proxy, yes, yeah, secure, of course, is via the get underscore URL Ansible module and the environment variable. We already know the get underscore URL module to download file from Linux distribution, macOS, and other Unix system. You could set the remote proxy via the HTTP underscore proxy and HTTPS proxy remote environment using the Ansible statement environment. This will add the environment variable to the target machine only for the life cycle of the playbook. This apply respectively to HTTP and HTTPS connection. And on the Ansible level, the environment statement could be applied at task level or play level. But the best way is to show you one demo about how to download a file using an HTTPS proxy via environment variable with Ansible Playbook. Welcome to my editor. First of all, let's begin our playbook about how to set a proxy with environment variable. Let's begin with one play named get underscore URL module demo with no, we proxy demo. Here we go. That is going to be executed against the host all of my inventory. I don't need uh, a privilege escalation, so become false. I want to save a file in my username account. I don't want to acquire any facts from the field, so let me set uh, false also gather facts. And then let me define some variable that might be useful to customize. My URL, let me add one file that is uh, the URL of a file to download. This file has also a checksum, a SHA256, available as a, a separate file named with dot .sss SHA and uh, will be useful to double check. Mm, let me save a file to home DevOps is my username and Ansible 2.925.rgzip. Yes, it's a tarball. You can easily customize this variable with the file that you need and maybe you want to exclude, check some or not, but it's good to have. On the task list is where the action happens. So let me add the name task download file with proxy that is going to execute ansible.builtin.get underscore URL module. Let me Define a URL with a value of my URL variable. What else? Uh, so sources URL dest is the destination that will be my dest. Here we go. Oh, and then let me add the checksum. In my case, my CRC. Here we go. Become very easy using variable. 
uh, the file mode is 0644, so read and write for current user and only read for the others. The owner will be DevOps, my login user, and the group uh, is the default uh, will. In your case, uh, could be different. Uh, let me set finally the environment variable HTTPS because uh, this is a secure connection. So HTTPS uh, underscore proxy and my proxy is available as HTTP proxy.example.com. Yes, example.com is my domain and the full port of 3128 because it is a squid proxy is the one that we configured with Ansible in another lesson. So, as you can see, we, in few lines I'm able to download a file, verify the checksum, and uh, interact with my secure proxy. So, let's move to Terminal to see if this code works. Are you curious? Let's go! And welcome to my terminal. First of all, let me connect to my demo machine via SSH DevOps as username at demoexample.com. As you can see, the home directory is empty, so no file is present. So let me disconnect with exit and execute my Ansible playbook. Ansible-playbook is the command line. Let me specify my inventory and my playbook. The execution is going to be fast and behind the scene Ansible is setting the uh, remote the proxy variable on the target machine interacting with the desired URL and downloading to current user. We can see that if file already exists we get OK if need to be downloaded, we get a change status. But let me list via SSH directly the file. And here we go. It's successfully downloaded on the target machine. So, good job, Ansible. As you can see, the execution it went super smooth and don't look like different from the one without a proxy. But we know that uh, the connection was successful. To double check, uh, let me take a look on the proxy side. And welcome to my proxy example machine. Let me connect uh, la with the same username devops at proxy.example.com. Actually, this video was filmed in the same moment where uh, Ansible playbooks executed. This is var log squid access log. If you use a different proxy, you have a different login machine. As you can see, this is the connection that happened to releases Ansible.com, and you can see that uh, there is a cache miss. So the file is currently downloaded, and uh, this is the first connection to download the checksum, so the checksum is downloaded first, then the second one actually downloaded the file. And this time, oh, we got another one. This is probably the other content when the second run executed. So, good job Ansible. It looked like that connection happened as we wish via an enterprise proxy. Now you know how to use an HTTPS proxy using environment variable with Ansible playbook. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video or was valuable for you, give me a thumbs up, write me a comment and in general, keep in contact with me. And have a wonderful day! Oh, don't forget to have a to automate more tasks on your system administrator day with Ansible Pilot. This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for 
uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun.